Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, today we will break down what we expect from the upcoming episode of the most exciting TV show of 2023 taking place exactly 100 years ago. The show creates a great contrast to our modern lives. On the one hand, it makes us be thankful for all the technological developments we have today and makes us realize how lucky we are. On the other hand, it proves that human beings never changed. Despite the shift in periods, we all always want the same things, regardless of which part of history we lived in love, money, and power. Watching this show with these thoughts in mind makes it even more an interesting experience for us. That being said, we have to admit that more than anything, the show proves that the Duttons have always been struggling with the local politics of Montana, and their enemy count has been on the rise since 1923. In the previous series, 1883, we were once again watching the Duttons. But since they didn't have any ranch yet, they didn't have many things to fight for except for their family. So 1883 was heavily focused on family dynamics, raising children, adopting or denying the social norms, and being there for your family no matter what. Of course, surviving was the biggest theme in the show, but other than that, the family was the one that carried the plot of the miniseries. In 1923, however, we finally have the Yellowstone Ranch as we know it today. So the Duttons not only have their family, but also have their land and ranch to defend. This adds an entire layer to the story of the series and makes it even more relatable for the average Yellowstone fan. As we love to watch the rancher experience on TV, this also means that there are some people who have their eyes on the land and thus conflict is inevitable. From the very first episode of 1923, we had been watching the Duttons forming their authority over Montana and facing some challenges from the other ranchers. Especially, the animosity between Jacob and Banner has been the focal point of the series since the very beginning. Starting as a regular disagreement, the conflict quickly took a violent turn as Jacob decided to punish Banner by death for invading the Yellowstone land. Well, things didn't progress as Jacob planned. Turns out, Banner was also a force to be reckoned with. That's to say, Banner managed to survive and immediately took the step to take his revenge. It was a true revenge that showed no mercy to anyone. He attacked the Dutton family in the most brutal way, killing John Dutton Sr. and fatally injuring Jacob. The jury is still out on whether Jacob will survive or not, regardless of his survival. Jacob did something crucial when laying down covered in blood. He asked Kara to call for Spencer. Now this was the moment that we have all been waiting for since episode 1. The charismatic explorer of Africa returns to his hometown. That also means that a new war is about to begin, this time between Spencer and Banner. So far, we watch a Spencer who has no fear of anyone. His reputation is even bigger than his as people tell the stories of how he kills a lime of his bare hands. We are not sure if this reputation got also spread through the U.S. But we know that once the Montana residents meet Spencer, they will understand that the Dutton they should be afraid of is not Jacob, it's Spencer. Spencer is no stranger to violence, surprise attacks, ambushes, and endless cycle of violence. In a way, Spencer is a man who chooses to live in such a troubling environment as it feels like home to him. As a World War I veteran, he suffers from PTSD and survivor's guilt, meaning that he seeks danger in life. For the first time in his life, the danger is at his true home, and now he is being summoned back to deal with it. Although we would not hesitate to bet on him in any type of fight, war, or conflict, we should also remember that Banner is somewhat of a sociopath whose ambition is bigger than his reasoning. Thus, he acts in an impulsive manner, sees no problem in killing, and even thinks that he has the right to kill, especially when he is against a Dutton. Now, since Duttons are not exactly favorites among the other ranchers, we believe Banner is likely to find a lot of local support for his fight as well, causing Duttons to be isolated. Still, the power of the desire for revenge cannot be undermined. And one thing Spencer has right now is this desire. His brother is killed by Banner, and the anger that is caused by this incident can only be resolved through revenge, Eka the killing of Banner. We believe this fight between the two will last up until the very last episode of the season. But we also believe that Spencer will kill Banner in the end, even if it cost him his own life as well. Who are you siding with in this war? Do you think Banner has chance against Spencer? Or do you assume that the winner is already obvious? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.